Welcome to Lab 500, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a review. It was suggested by uh, subscribers of the channel that I was to buy one of these Foggit machines. So I bought one, £69 on eBay. So you get the machine, you get a European plug, a UK plug, the remote control, or the wired remote control, and seven bottles of different flavours. So we'll go through these, see what we get. But this is a review, hope you like it. Stay tuned and see how it works. So this is what I bought. Uh, no, I haven't turned into a DJ, uh, but it is a fog machine. This was recommended to me uh, by one of the subscribers on the channel. Um, my current car has got a bit of a bit of a smell, where it's um, it was a smoker's car, and they recommended one of these. So I bought one. So that's the machine itself. That's the fogger, and then we've got umpteen bottles of liquid, which obviously they fog <laughs> and, um, and and rid the car of all the smells and bacteria and there's all different flavours. Like one million scent, lemon sherbet, new car scent, very cherry, sweet shop scent, all sound a bit sweet don't they? Fresh mint, mm, that smell like your shower gel and brilliant bilberry. So I'm interested to see what they smell like. I'm just sniffing my hand after picking it up. So I'm not, I haven't got a clue how you use it. We've got a little instruction manual here. A little instruction manual. It's um, looks like it's just one piece of paper. Fog it machine instruction. So let's have a read. Let's see what it says. Insert the clear tube through the cap into the reservoir, which it already is. Please attach the brass filter. What brass filter? I'm sure there's a brass filter in there somewhere. Fill the reservoir with the Foggit solution provided. Place the machine on the middle of the rear seats facing forwards. Alternatively, the passenger footwell. Plug the machine into the mains and run the cable out of the vehicle. If the car has aircon, run this on circulate. Wait for a few minutes for the machine to heat up. When it's ready, to ready, the light will show on the remote. Hold the button on the remote for approximately five minutes until the vehicle is full of smoke. At this stage, visibility will be very poor. You will notice the machine cut off intermittently. This is normal and part of the reheating process. Let go of the button and leave the smoke to settle for 25 minutes. Open the doors and let the smoke clear. Remove the machine and treatment is complete. So yeah, I'm interested to uh, to see this in action. We've got a UK plug uh, and a European plug. Or is that an American? Can't remember. No, round, round pins, that's a European one, isn't it? But we are not European. We are British, so we have a British plug uh, and the remote control which you've got to stand there and hold for five minutes it's a bit of a stupid design isn't it you've got to actually hold it so uh tomorrow i am going to uh, give it a try um decide which one to use so yeah so this is the Foggit machine and hopefully it will uh, it's supposed to be quite long lasting and this was the one that was recommended to me by somebody so i'm hoping that it's uh, it's going to do the trick and uh, i can sanitize all of my cars um, and it kills uh, bacteria gets rid of bad odours, deodorises and freshens, so I'm hoping it will get rid of the, sm the smell of the smoke that's in um, in my current project. Uh, it's not very often I get cars that are uh, uh, smokers cars, but this one most certainly is. So uh, we'll, we'll, choose a, we'll choose a scent tomorrow, we'll have a little sniff of them, um, and we'll, uh, we'll give it a go, see what it comes like. So uh, we'll be back very, very shortly for you, um, and see it, see it in action. Right, so I've put the, uh, the little handle on. Okay, so which one should we use? I think we're going to try... Should we try the new car scent? Let's see what the new car scent is like. So I'm not quite sure how much you put in. So first of all, I'm going to plug all the bits and pieces in. So this is the first time I've used this. So The car I'm using it on... Uh, is not a smelly car. Um, 
but it's, it's just, it smells a little bit stale but it's not it's not the one that I described earlier as being the one that um, smells of smoke I wanted to try on this one first see how it goes and then I'll try on the other one I've got all these flavors to um, experiment with then what you have to do is you have to put the put the fluid in plug it into the mains put this on the back seat as I described earlier um, yes yeah, so we don't really know how much to put in let's have a sniff and get the childproof lock off oh that smells quite nice so we'll, we'll always pour pour it out no idea how much to put in so I put that much in Plug that in, then when you plug it into the mains you have to wait for the green light to come on on here uh, and that's when it's heated up, or is it the red light, can't remember, hang on let's have a look. So you've got to hold on to the button for five minutes which then obviously expels the fog. This is the same as a, di as a, like a, a mobile disco fogging machine I think, they've just uh, put this fluid in with it, so it's the same sort of thing. So we hold the remote button for five minutes until the vehicle is full of smoke. Uh, and then you uh, let go of the button and leave the smoke to settle for 25 minutes. So we'll run the power cable to the car, put it in the car, and then we'll come back. Right, so it's plugged in down there. It's on the back seat in the car, which I'll show you. I'll open the door up. I haven't got the engine started, but I've got the heating on full blast and on recirculation. So there it is sitting on the back seat. <laughs> and it's plugged. Yeah, there's power to it, so it's warming up. So what we we'll do once once that's uh, once that's gone, one of the lights has come on. Don't know which one's going to come on. Probably the green light, I imagine. Uh, and then we'll uh, we'll give it a try. So we'll come back as soon as that um, light's gone green or red or whatever colour it goes. We'll be back shortly. Yeah. So what it says in the instructions is that um, the machine will um, cut out every now and again, which is quite normal. So I've noticed that I was holding the buttons down and the night and the lights have gone out. So I think what happens is that you, um, the, it, to stop it overheating, it just switches off until it cools down a little bit. Um, this is uh, definitely the same type of, oh, it's come back on again now. It's definitely the same type of smoke machine that you get for mobile discos. And they've just um, obviously put a sticker on it to call it a fog it. Uh, so if you are a mobile DJ, you can use your own thing. I used to be a mobile DJ, so I used to have one of these machines, a better one than this, but. Um, yeah, I did used to have one. It's gone off again. So I guess this is why they're saying keep it about five minutes until it. Um, it's not. It's not completely visibility is quite poor, but it's not completely gone. But as soon as the light comes back on again, we'll press the button, and then once it is full, we'll come back. So I could hear it sort of making a spitting noise in there. Oh look, it's leaking out there. Look, you can see it's leaking out where the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> where the wires are going into the car I guess that's sort of that, that's the only problem of course that if you've got to have the wires coming out of the car then it's going to create a leak isn't it but as you can see the car is quite full of smoke you cannot see in there at all if I look through there you can't see the other side of the car so just leave that you're supposed to leave that now for 25 minutes and um, and then open the doors up and let the smoke dissipate. So I'm going to give it another one more press because uh, as I haven't used this before, so you, as you could see, you could see how much fluid I used. It's quite a bit, but it doesn't actually tell you how much to put in, you know, to do one car. And this, these, of course, have only one. is a small car, so that would have heated up again. So let's uh, give it another press because, of course, it's foggy inside. You can't see whether it's actually emitting any more smoke or not because you, you obviously don't you don't want to run these things dry but you can hear it sort of shh, 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 inside you won't be able to hear that I don't think but I'll wait until it cuts out one more time like that and then I'll leave it now and then uh, it's, <laughs> it's leaking out the vents as well somewhere where's it coming out 
coming out from under the bonnet, I think. It's obviously leaking through underneath somewhere. Because it's gonna the smoke is gonna find the holes, isn't it? So yeah, it is really, really smoky in there now. So you can see it moving its way along where the where the air vents, where the air is being pushed through. So I'm hoping it's not gonna leave a residue. But we'll be back anyway in uh, 25 minutes time. Hopefully my uh, battery's not going to run flat in that time as the engine's not running. You can see it leaking out in all sorts of places. Where on earth is it coming out from now? I don't know, you can just see this smoke emanating from somewhere. Right about that sort of time has, uh, has gone and as you can see the car actually hasn't got any fog in it very much. Well, there's some, which is all coming out. Whew. Oh yeah, it just wasn't as it wasn't as thick as I expected it to be. So I guess it's sort of with, with the with the cables like there. Let's just turn that air vent off. With the cables like that, I guess it's it's going to leak out a little bit. Doesn't look like it's left any residue. Let's get the machine out. Let's have a look, see how much is used. Oh yeah, there's loads left. And what does it smell like? That's the most important thing. Let's jump in and have a sniff. Hmm, actually smells, I'm sure there's still a little bit of fog left in here that's get working its way out, but it actually smells really nice. Whether it lasts or not remains to be seen, but it certainly smells nice. So that's good. The next test to do is do it on the one that um, smells of smoke, um, which I will do. But um, yeah, I think it was a bit of a success. So that's the Foggit machine. Now that was for the machine, and how many bottles was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bottles of different flavour. Uh, it was, I think, it was sixty-nine quid, including delivery. So I think that's pretty good, really. So uh, yeah, so you know, I'd say I bought this machine. Uh, I've not been sponsored by the, the company that sold it to me or the company that makes it. Um, I think it's a good little machine. And uh, certainly if you're in the market for um, buying and selling cars, I think it's a nice uh, nice touch to be able to advertise the fact that you've deodorized the car, especially in the current climate that we're in with COVID and so on. So yeah, I at the moment I recommend it. I haven't tried any other flavors, of course. We've only tried that new car flavor, which doesn't smell anything like a new car but it does smell nice. So yeah, I recommend it. So uh, get yourself one on eBay. They do sell them on Amazon as well, but it's called the Foggit. I'm sure there are better ones, more expensive ones, more professional ones, but for a home use or a DIY, I think it's a great little machine. So that's the end of the review on the Foggit machine. I hope it was useful. If you've enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up and consider like sharing and subscribing to the channel and we'll see you on the next review thanks for watching stay safe see you soon